Hi, welcome to Growing Up Govani with Dr. Salima. I guess this is gonna be episode one where we're gonna talk about getting your pediatric five to 11 year olds vaccinated. Uh, I am Dr. Salima. I am a board certified allergist, immunologist, and internist, mommy to four. And I had this YouTube channel created a long time ago and was in the process of trying to make a great food allergy uh, opening video, never came around to it. And then I vaccinated my children and I got a lot of questions about how they did this week and I said, you know what, I'm gonna create a video and this is gonna be my episode one. So here it is, are you ready? Get set, go, nothing. There's not really nothing to go, but um, it's just me. And I'm going to talk to you about what happened this week when I got my kids vaccinated. And I wanted to share it in a space where people could find it easily. Uh, I know when I had vaccinated myself, I did an Instagram live and then it got, you know, put, you know, in my Instagram account and then people sometimes can't find it. And so I said, why not use this channel? So if you like what you see, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Um, I am gonna be doing more of these every single week, I think, um, at least that's the hope. And so let's talk about what happened this week while well, I got my kids vaccinated. I was so excited, I was pumped up. Now mind you, I've been talking to my children since I got vaccinated, that eventually they were gonna get vaccinated. So they knew it was happening. Um, and when it got approved, boom, we booked an appointment and here we are. And so we show up and I'm gonna show you some footage. It's kind of like being at Disneyland, you're all like waiting in a line, everyone's really excited, except for not really because everyone's being vaccinated uh, all at the same time. And if you have children or if you know someone who has children or, you know, children children don't like vaccines. That's just it. Uh, and they don't like needles. I shouldn't say they don't like vaccines. They don't like needles. And so there was a bunch of crying children in the line and that caused panic and anxiety in my kids, which already they're pretty anxious, but I could not believe every single one of them actually cried um, for a little bit. And they were, as soon as the, the shot was done, they were like, oh, that's it. But I was not prepared for that. And I can only tell you my account of when I was working the, the COVID vaccine line, it was all adults and they were super excited to be there and they were pumped up and it was like the happiest place on earth. And this was not the happiest place on earth. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share you uh, some footage from our vaccine experience that day. Okay, so here you go. Okay. Hello? Are you <laughs> Don't do that. If you what? Had it for my bed. Okay. Okay, so we vaccinated them. Now, backstory on the morning of, my daughter Ariana actually woke up uh, with a sore throat and um, slight mild fever, like 100.5. So I was like, oh my God, is this really happening to me? You know, the paranoid, crazy side of me comes out, Debbie Downer, where I'm like, she got COVID. She got COVID and today's the day she's supposed to get vaccinated. So this is just insanity. Anyways, luckily, and this is where I know I am very grateful that you know, my husband's an ER doc. He, he's like, all right, we're gonna get her tested. Takes her over, gets her tested for both flu, strep, I should say triple, triple swab. No flu, no COVID, no strep throat. And I was like, okay, so it's some sort of mild viral illness. I can deal with that. So then she's like, okay, well, I'm sick, so I can't really get my vaccine. And I'm like, no, you're, you are sick. And technically, I, I wouldn't say do this, but you know, being mildly ill is not the end of the day when you get vaccinated. It's, it's, you don't want to be totally sick. You want to be at your best when you get vaccinated. But we decided to pull the trigger because work was going to get really busy the following week for us. And I said, I just, let's get everybody in. 
So we went ahead and vaccinated everybody and everyone got their vaccines. You saw the videos of, you know, sort of the meltdowns that sort of happened. And then um, we went home. Everyone was actually doing quite well. Um, about four to five hours later, they did feel some soreness and I gave everyone Advil or you could use Tylenol or you can use a combination of both. That evening, um, my daughter, uh, one of my daughters, Anaya, she's six, had a little bit of a headache and then Ariana probably felt the sickest. Um, but again, I'm prefacing that with the fact that she was already kind of sick to begin with. So she was just headache, a little bit chills, wanted to be tired, just laid, you know, on the couch. And then that night we all went to bed and, and woke up the next morning. I did give everybody Advil the next morning because everyone had sore arms, but that was that. And so I am sharing this experience with you because I've had a lot of people reach out to me saying that it's really nerve wracking and really anxiety, prov you know, provoking because now it's their kids and it's not just themselves. And, and I get it. You know, I, um, remember when the adult vaccines came out, I feel like everybody, a lot of the adults that were on board were really on board and they did everything in their power to try to get their vaccine. You know, they wanted to be a healthcare worker. Even if They weren't a healthcare worker so they can be first in line. And now some of those same people are just a little bit afraid because it's their kids and they're worried about the side effects and what if they have an allergic reaction. And believe me, I just want to say all those things crossed my mind. And, um, we've, you know, we, we went ahead and vaccinated our kids. And, you know, as a mom to four kids, the last thing I want to do is harm them, right? Or, or, you know, have something catastrophic happen to them. But I will share with you as an immunologist, as an allergist who actually not only worked in the vaccine clinic, um, it, it, part of that experience was I vaccinated all kinds of people, meaning folks that were, you know, food allergic, penicillin allergic, you know, you, you know, be venom allergic, all types of allergies. Uh, I even had one patient who had cardiac arrest from an antibiotic and she came to me and was like, Dr. T, should I get vaccinated? And I looked through all the stuff and I'm like, you have no contraindications. Yes, you can. And that patient is vaccinated, not just with first dose, second dose, and also booster. So pretty darn amazing. But it also just goes to show you, like, we don't really know who's going to react and how they're going to react, but we can be just well informed and well prepared. And so if you have a history of allergy, you're prone to be allergic, you know, get it, get it at a place that's equipped to deal with, you know, anaphylaxis. Um, and you know that, you know, your medical doctors or your medical office buildings or, or, or places that are connected with hospitals are most definitely going to be, uh, uh, equipped to deal with it. And just to let you know, um, you know, when, when we start vaccinating, you know, we make sure that the EpiPen is there and we make sure everyone understands the anaphylaxis protocol and is that, you know, hospitals are equipped with anaphylaxis protocols and, you know, so there's a, a big plan in place. Now, there's a lot of anxiety that get built on. And, you know, with the adults, I saw a lot of like, uh, you know, symptoms that were more related to anxiety, but they were real, right? Your heart starts beating faster. Your mouth starts to get dry. You sort of can start to feel even woozy. Some people might even have a syncopal episode and this can happen to both adults and kids. And so if you know your kids are a little bit scared of needles, like my youngest one is, you know, you can do things like cover the eyes, look away, don't look at the needle. Um, and, and all of that, you know, helps all of that helps, you know, lessen the anxiety levels. Uh, and then I will say this as far as safety is concerned, you know, we have vaccinated millions and millions of people across the country as of, I think, October 8th or something, 1 million kids have been vaccinated, which is huge. And in the era of social media that we live in, I always tell people that's kind of great because if there's something catastrophic that's going to happen, that little rare incident, you're going to hear about it immediately. And the data that we have from the adult population, the adolescent population, and now with the younger pediatric population, it is very, very reassuring. And I think one of the you know biggest things that's on everyone's mind is what are the long-term consequences and what's, what's going on? You know, when you look at the history of vaccinations, you, you're looking at, you know, when you're going to have uh, those sort of dangerous side effects, they really happen in that first six week window. And this is why even, you know, here in the United States where they have one of the most rigorous, you know, ways of, you know, analyzing and looking risk versus benefit and, uh, you know, you know, really micro, 
uh, analyzing the data. Uh, and, and that is why we even looked at the data for up to eight weeks. And now obviously we have all this long-term data. It is all, all very reassuring. I always tell folks, you know, I wouldn't have initially vaccinated myself had I thought I was going to be dying or killing myself. And I wouldn't do that to my kids, you know, and the mRNA technology, everyone talks about it as warp speed, new technology. I can tell you, I learned about it a decade ago when I was training. And so I just want to emphasize that it is very sophisticated, very smart, very expensive technology. And we really have known about it for a really long time but haven't had a need to to utilize it like this and this was its prime time to come into place and and it did and, and if you look at just vaccines i mean there's not a lot of vaccines that are going to be like 95 plus percent effective like this i mean we look at the flu vaccine and you're like on a good year it's 50 percent effective and i honestly think the future of vaccinations is, is actually going to be mrna vaccines because of how precise they are so i am not actually scared at all um, by the technology i actually think i am very grateful for the united states actually for purchasing the cream of the crop uh, i have friends who actually don't live in the united states and are always like they don't even have access to these vaccines you know the pfizer and moderna vaccines and so we are very very fortunate and i i you know just want to share that if you have any questions at any time, you can find me. Uh, the The easiest place to find me is on Instagram. Uh, there's going to be more educational videos coming out like this. This whole channel is just meant to educate and entertain. So that's why it's Growing Up Govani uh, with Dr. Salima. So you're going to get a little bit of education with a little bit of entertainment about what's happening in my life as working mom of four, who's also married to medicine, which means my husband is actually an ear doc. And so I'll bring pieces of my family on board and you'll get to know them. A next episode, which will be next week, I'm actually going to talk about food allergies and we're going to talk about how to administer your epinephrine auto injectors. So subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, so I know to do more videos, tell me, also share with me uh, what what you want to know about when it comes to the allergy world so I can create content that is catered towards you. Right here I have Mr. RGZA, hey. RJ, sometimes I call him Arj Arj Gly Gly. Um, it's a little joke me. from the periodic table. And so, and you. Um, RJ, yeah. how was your sh your vaccine? Good. Yeah? You, you really didn't have any problems, I think. Uh -huh. I mean, you really could have gone to it, school the next day, but I think... It, it hurt, kind of. It kind of hurt? On my arm. On your arm, yeah. yeah. Did you have any other problems? Uh, no. Maybe all the video games you played helped you. <laughs> and the Lay's potato chips that you ate. Uh, so it was like no big deal. Well, I think you were more anxious about getting the shot than the actual shot itself. Because I think once it happened, you were like, ah, no problem. But I get it. It was kind of nerve wracking to see waiting in line like you're at Disneyland. And then, hold on, and I and then what happens? You hear all these kids screaming and crying. And then I'm like, come on, it's the most exciting day. And you're like, what are you talking about, mom? All these kids are screaming and crying. And then, <sighs> it didn't really hurt that bad, right? No. Okay, just making sure. Should other kids get vaccinated? Yes. Okay. I don't. Hi, girl. <laughs> What are you most excited about since you're going to be vaccinated pretty much by December? You're going to have both your vaccines in. Uh, um, since we have a basketball coach, he could go. Oh, yeah. To... Play bas group sports because we haven't been doing group sports. So he's excited about mm -hmm. joining his basketball team because, I mean, it is kind of fun playing with your sister maybe sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Mwah, you heard it from the man himself. Get your vaccine. <laughs> okay, so I do want to share an expert, 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 excerpt. Oh my God. 
for my journal, which was dated uh, March 29th, 2020. Um, and I say this because you can hopefully feel the anxiety that I was feeling. And, and part of the reason why um, it was a very easy decision for me to vaccinate my kids. Okay, so March 29th, 2020. So very early on in the pandemic. So much anxiety. Last night, I write, you know, another hospital intubated eight patients. A 36-year-old died. Friday night, Raheem's ER intubated nine. That's my husband. I'm worried. Worried because no treatments are working. Stressed out because I'm fearful my husband will die. I'm scared. <clears throat> I've never been scared like this. I'm scared because people are going to die. People close to me are going to die. I'm afraid I don't want anyone in my family dying. I'm grateful for my life. I do need to pray more and appreciate what I have. I am grateful for living today and writing in this. So I was stressed out as you know what, and anxious as you know what, because back in March, 2020, we had no idea what was going on. And we, to this date, I mean, 750,000 Americans have died. And so, you know, part of ending this pandemic is, you know, getting ourselves vaccinated, getting our kids vaccinated. And I'm just here to share my experience with you so that you can, you know, make the right decision for you and your family. And, you know, again, if you have any fears or any sort of questions or comments, let me know. I, I want to know because, um, again, I, uh, I would not have vaccinated or put the risk, the lives of my children at risk. And so I share with you that little piece of my personal journal just to share with you how things were back then and how crazy and anxious we were back then. Not crazy, crazy in the, in the sense that I was literally like the stress and the anxiety of what was gonna happen to me, my family, my kids, my husband. Um, for those of you who don't know, he's an ER doc and for a while he wasn't even sleeping at home, he was sleeping in the hospital. And so we've come a long way and vaccines have literally been a miracle. If you remember back in December of 2020, I mean, LA was probably in its peak with the number of deaths. It felt like the walls of COVID were coming in and death was coming closer and closer and closer. And so I'm very thankful for the vaccines. I have been vaccinated, plus I got my booster in. So I hope this helps you. I will see you all next week. And that's it for today. I hope this was valuable to you. Remember to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, uh, and that's it for me. See y'all next week for food allergies and how to use your epinephrine auto injectors. And I know this is gonna make me sound old, but YOLO, you only live once. So remember to live, laugh, and love. Till next week.